the viewers, my name still remains Obi Udeze, you are regular host. Today, from this book, Dedication, we'll be treating a wonderful topic titled Steadfast and Immovable. Steadfastness, according to, to the dictionary, means to be resolute or dutifully firm and unwavering. Steadfastness is synonymous to being faithful and loyal. Those who are dedicated need to be steadfast and must not be subjected to quick changes. Their belief and determination must be immovable as they are not meant to be delivered. A lot of things can make people look back from their dedication, but only those who are not determined to be moved will be steadfast. Steadfastness is having the ability to quickly learn new things in order to grow without wavering. There is a spirit which a steadfast person manifests that is always being confident and being appreciative of others without arrogance. Steadfastness is being firm, not allowing our belief system to shake and not staggering in faith. Of a truth, many things will happen to us that would question our belief. But steadfastness teaches us not to move away from this hope that is glorious and blessed. Steadfastness produces staying power. Ability to stay on something is a great virtue and an attribute of steadfastness. Steadfastness should be exhibited in holding fast to the profession of our truth. We should keep our faith cleaving to God and striving for the faith. Those who are confident stay strong till the end. Steadfastness should be manifested even under affliction. Ability to remain and keep looking in a definite direction is a sure sign that one is going to make it. Our cause on earth which we have received from our Savior Jesus Christ needs steadfastness to be complete. We should not be like those who go back to their rooms due to the tribulations and worries of this life. Those who remain steadfast on that threat are blessed and will receive the crown of life. One thing we can be certain of is that the moment our faith is tested, our inner endurance shows up. The attitude of a steadfast man is to forget what has happened and reach forward to what lies ahead. Those who are steadfast do a lot of observation, turning neither to the right nor to the left, but look steadily in a given direction. One thing is becoming steadfast and another is to remain steadfast. To remain steadfast requires a lot of dedication, commitment, endurance and determination so as to exhibit the purpose and ways of the Lord. Liberty is assured to those who remain steadfast. The very first reason Jesus came was to set us free from the yoke of slavery. Those who are steadfast cannot be yoked because they remain committed and dedicated even in the face of challenges. One thing you should be sure of is that yoke don't stay around dedicated and committed people. It takes a lot of effort to remain steadfast and it is only through such dedication that every form of yoke is destroyed. Steadfastness is associated with boldness. Those who are steadfast manifest a kind of boldness irrespective of their academic level. Whatever you do regularly makes you courageous. Those who are steadfast possesses these characteristics, confidence, determination, work well with others, great ability to speak, living out loud, consistency. Steadfastness is beneficial. The gain of being steadfast is enormous. There are people in the Bible who are steadfast and benefited greatly like one. Joseph in the book of Genesis 41-42 was elevated from a slave and a prisoner to a prime minister in a strange land. David was steadfast and God didn't overlook it but elevated him from being a shepherd boy to a king. Abraham had faith and was steadfast too even when all hopes of becoming a biological father was fading away. God remembered him, changed his name first from Abraham to Abraham and then gave him a son. 
he so desire which is change of status. Key is to steadfastness. Number one, know the word of God. We are children of God, heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. We are not strong with our own strength, but are strong in Jesus, as it is written in Zechariah 4, 6. It is not by power or by mind, but by the Spirit of God. We need the Word of God to stand firm at all times. Two, do not be part of disunity. Disunity is an attack of enemy on believers. Paul, in his admonition, said we should all have the same mind in the Lord. Three, joy forever. Perpetual joy is needed as it is a key to steadfastness. This joy is within. Jesus said, my joy I give you. For forbearance. Forbearance simply means the enthusiasm to stay satisfied with any condition without complaining. Five, refuse to worry. To be steadfast, there must be a mind at peace. Worrying hinders our relationship with God. We have come to the end of today's episode from this book, Dedication. I will see you same time next week when we will be treating a powerful topic titled Focus. Love you plenty for always showing up on my channel. Bye.